Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Ride Along, a movie about a security guard who must prove himself to his girlfriend's brother, James, that he needs to ride along as a cop patrol in Atlanta for 24 hours. It stars Ice Cube, Kevin Hart, a stand-up comedian who went on to do many movies you know, before this, Bruce Miguel, John Leguizamo, Brian Cullen, who went on to do the TV show World's Dumbest, but of course he's also a stand-up comedian as well, Tika Sumter, and Lawrence Fishburne. And it's directed by Tim Story, you know, once again, who went on to direct movies like Barbershop, the terrible movie Taxi, as well as Fantastic Four movies. And so on. The movie begins when a rookie cop named James Payton, played by Ice Cube, has went on an undercover operation where fake passports are being smuggled into Atlanta, Georgia. An operation that James believed that would lead him into to catching a man named Omar, who is played by Lawrence Fishburne. Of course, he has to work together with two undercover cops, on San Diego and Migs, as his partners. You know, both played by John Leguizamo and Brian Cullen. Uh, meanwhile, a fast-talking high school security guard named Ben Barber, who's played by Kevin Hart, uh, has applied for the Atlanta City Police Academy. So once he gets in, he has to ask James for his blessings to marry his sister, Angela, who's played by Tika Sumter. So prior to his um, concern, he decided to go on a ride-along with him just to prove his actions. So once he started picking Ben up and taking him to the police station, James started to dispatch him by giving him all the 126, the police code by the way, call into his actions. But things just seemed to go very wrong where everything just seems, you know, one joke after another where they pick up all these these doom with criminals coming around, you know, a lot of sh crazy shootouts. And, and this whole, uh, yeah, the the crazy guy, you know, in, in the supermarket, all, all sorts of things. But then back at the station, was asked to be taken home before he receives a call from Angela. To tell us about his stressful day, you know, with James. That was before Angela says that James was playing poker with a guy named Crazy Coley, and that happens to be that crazy guy. Things just seemed to go you know, completely wrong, but once um, they went into the factory where Omar's hideout is, with a gang of crooks going after them, and then they soon find out, you know, that um, that his partners is actually working for him. So yeah, they turn out to be very dirty. I hate to spoil the fun on that, but that's how they film it. So everything just. So things started to get even much worse once Omar came along and decided to go after them before before it's too late. Especially you know, kidnapping Angela. That's what the film was all about. But I gotta admit though, it had its funny moments. It, it sort of felt like, like any other generic buddy cop film that we often see these days. Because I know there's so many of them. And I know this was his... Uh, first attempt of doing yet another buddy cop film after his last one failed. Yeah, that was a terrible movie though. This one, I gotta admit, in my sense, it was a whole lot better than Taxi. Because at least, unlike Taxi though, at least, you know, we didn't have to deal with uh, any of this garbage that they started to throw in these days. I know it's, I know they'd have cliches like this in the movies, but we didn't have to deal with uh, one annoying character after another. I mean, and I, I love Kevin Hart though. I, you know, at least he's better than Jimmy Fallon. Because yeah, Jimmy Fallon was really annoying in that film. Although Kevin Hart can be annoying at times too. But at least he's not that annoying. But there was one funny scene in the movie that I did laugh at was when <laughs> they went to a gun shop, you know, just checking out all these guns and. <laughs> they went on the shooting range 
And Kevin Hart was trying out the, those two guns. Yeah, those two of them. Yeah, playing like it's a video game or so. Yeah, he's always thinking his life is a video game. But when he actually tried out the shotgun, yeah, that big shotgun. <laughs> One shot and it went <laughs> and he was flying backwards. Oh man, that that was I gotta admit, I was laughing at that scene <laughs> because of it. But yeah, it it was fun. On the other hand though, the joke seemed to be very flat. Um there were some so many problems with it. I mean, I think the writing of this movie seems you know, rather poor at times. Like, some of them seems to go on, and you know, we knew exactly what was happening. It seems very predictable at times. But it was funny at times, and I really enjoy Ice Cube in this, and Kevin Hart. So. And I, it's also great to see Brian Cullen in this movie, as well as John Leguizamo and Lawrence Fishburne. So they're both very, so they're all very good in this. It's just too bad they could have made a better script, though, as it turned out. So, but it, either way, it's worth watching, but you gotta admit, it's not as good as any other buddy cop film that we've seen so many times in, in a couple years, you know, in a decade or so. But it almost felt more like Rush Hour in that sort of way. Um, they're also gonna make a sequel to this movie surprisingly enough, and it's coming out in 2016. Um, I also heard that this movie was going to be made, that originally Dwayne Johnson, you know, aka The Rock, as well as Ryan Reynolds was going to play those roles. Well, <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, this, this was actually, hard to believe this actually happened a long time ago when, when I heard about this. So that was before they, you know, Ice Cube and Kevin Hart got the roles, so. That's cool. Because I would imagine what it would have been like if it was Dwayne Johnson and Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, it would probably just be another dull buddy cop film that we ever have. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's okay, though. But, um... It, it's alright. It's not the greatest movie ever made. It's not the greatest comedy that I've had to sit through, but... It's worth watching if, if you really enjoyed it. So anyway, I gave Ride Along two and a half stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.